AJ from Hearns, and I'm going to be showing you the insides of the brand new Hong Kong model nose art kit for the, uh, the Lancaster. So they announced it some time ago, uh, and they've had the Lancaster kit available for probably about a year and a bit now. Uh, it's been a very popular kit, but not a lot of people have a lot of room for the full kit, because the full kit wingspan is about one meter, and the, the fuselage is uh, 70 centimeters long. So this particular kit is the front section, which is the cockpit, and they've made a new dolly for it, so you can actually mount it up. And there's a lot of, um, all the good bits are inside the cockpit. So let's open it up and see what they give you. So let's pop that off there. Let's pop that to this side. Okay. Starts off with, you get your canopy sections and all the clear parts. So obviously there's gonna be some bits that you're not gonna use. That's for the, um, the tail gunner. But you'll be using the, um, the bits for the front gun and the nose sections. And the amazing thing about these particular kits is the glass sections fit perfectly. There's no gaps when you put them on. So that's the glass sections there. Another clear section. Now this is a clear side panel. So these originally were uh, supplied with the first generation kits. So you could get them with a, a full uh, clear panel along the side so you can see all the interior detail. So it's great that they've included it here because um, it would be like a museum piece so you can see the cockpit and all the finer gun detail and all the navigation station. So that's an option because they also give you the full opaque version. Okay, so you get your choices. So opaque or clear. And obviously you've got the other side as well. Okay, so that gives you an idea of how big the whole kit's gonna be. So it's just gonna be a little bit longer than this because you've got your little bit of nose section and your gun. Uh, and then you've got your cockpit across here, and then the dolly will be about this size there. Okay, rest of the inside, you've got the get your base of the cockpit. Okay, so the, the pilot seat will sit on top of this uh, ray section here. You've got all your dials and uh, cockpit instrumentation. This is a side panel with some more dials for the uh, co-pilot. And then here you've got uh, areas for your um, your navigator, there's also a seat across here, and then the table across this section there. Okay, so that's on that first bit of screw. And then next, you've got the pilot seat. And then you've got some of the avionics equipment. So side panels here for the uh, radio operator and the navigator. Uh, you've got the uh, controls. Uh, you've got the uh, bomb sighting equipment. Uh, a few antennas and such along the sides. Then here you've got uh, the rest of the seats, the side of the seats. And then you've got some more antennae. Okay, so take a look at sprues. This one here, you've got the front gun. Okay, so you've got the, uh, the support around there uh, for the glass. And then you've got, uh, there's the main controls. You can see the two um, uh, guns here and the barrels. And then you can see how they slide molded, so they've got the holes there, so they've got the holes for the ends of the, the guns as well. Let's see if you can see that there. It's a nice little touch, it saves you from having to drill out the barrels and make it look better. Okay, so that's the front gun. Now this section shows you the new parts for the dolly. So it's basically all strut work, so it's like a scaffold, and it just all goes together as you stand. And then on this side you've got some more uh, tanks. Here's some radio equipment, uh, some more avionics, and then you've got your uh, navigator's seat here. Okay. And then you've got some photo etch. So you've got photo etch there for uh, seat belts, uh, various belts for your, your other guys as well, your navigator and your uh, um, uh, radio operator. So they're quite nice. And then there's a new set of decals for the nose art version. So this is all brand new. Quite impressive. Very decent size for the nose art. Normally, a nose art can look quite tiny. There's it, and then you've got your manual. And so, the manual here is a regular step by step, and they show you the letter codes for painting. So, you see, as they go through, they're going through the uh, building the, the pilot seat all the way through the front, uh, the main instrumentation. Uh, construction of all the rest of it with the uh, 
the navigator station and the radio operator. Here's a front gun. And then all the details that are on the side of the fuselage. So you got a little ladder there for the bombardier to go back and forth. And then joining up to the two halves onto all the antennae and then the end part is basically putting a dolly together. And there's finished product on top of the dolly. Because 30 second scale is really great for seeing extra detail, but um, yeah, most people won't have the room. So this will fit into a, uh, uh, a display cabinet very easily. It gives you a bit better uh, idea of the, uh, the nose art there. And all the decals are made by Cartograph, so they're very high quality. Okay, and then painting guide. Nope, oh, give a better look there. So you've got four versions to choose from. They're all very similar, the different decals. Okay, and your paint chart, which goes through various brands. So you've got AK Interactive, Tamiya, and Gunzi numbers. So that's the open box. Look at the uh, the new Lancaster uh, cockpit set. Oh, I guess it's called the Nose Art set from Hong Kong Models.